stuck in here. Okay, everybody, simmer down. Quiet. Hi, hi. You're looking cute as ever. All right, we've called you all here today for a certain reason. Stop, dude, you're gonna break it. I know you're excited, but just simmer down now. Simmer down. Okay, Mommy Tard, would you like to start off this meeting? We have gathered you here together today. Hi, Dad. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Baby Tard. Hi. That's cute. <laughs> Continue, Mother. To tell you something very special. Special. <laughs> <laughs> that Mommy is growing a baby inside of her belly. What do you think about that? We're gonna have another little baby in our house. I'm, I want it to be a boy. I want a brother. You want a brother? No. All right. Well, we'll see. That would be what exciting. about you, Princess Tard? Do you want a boy or a girl? Yeah. You want another sister? Can you guys believe Mommy's gonna have another baby? Yes. Yeah, baby. But it's not gonna be here um, for a long time. Can you believe Mommy puts out that much? She's always <laughs> wasn't me. I didn't do it. <laughs> Daddy, Tar. Oh, look, they're what? all laughing. Oh, they're laughing. What? Some some mommies when they have a baby, they get fat. Well, yep. let's hope that doesn't happen to our That's mommy. That's what this mommy thinks. <laughs> yeah. See that caramel popcorn right there? Just for Mommy has special cravings when she's making babies. <laughs> so what do you guys think? When the summer comes in June, Mommy's going to have another baby. You guys are going to have another brother or sister. What should we name him? Um, I want to name him... I don't know. What if it's a boy? What will we name him? it's a girl. We'll name him Little Tard? Junior Tard? Brother Tard? If it's a girl, we can name him um, Tiny Tard. I think we're going to call it Little Larry's. Little what? Larry. Larry? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, Larry Tard here, just hanging out. <laughs> Why Larry? I think I want to name him Max. Max? That's a pretty cool name. And I want to call him Max. <laughs> All right. All right. Baby Tard, what do you think? You're not going to be the little cute one anymore. Good. You're going to be the middle sister that nobody cares about. Oh, what is, what is, what is this? She's. <laughs> I'm just teasing. We love you all individually as unique people. All right, so it's true. Mommy Todd is having a baby, and she's due June. June what? I don't know. Mommy Todd's due in June. She's about three months pregnant, and we don't know if it's a boy or a girl. But uh, anyways, that's that. <laughs> Good job, Mommy Todd. Way to be fertile. Way to replenish the earth. Right back at you. Atta girl. <laughs> Busted. Red-handed young lady. You want a whooping? Do you want a swift kick to the pants? Huh? You better go put that purse away. Your mommy is going to get pissed. What do you got in your hand? What do you got? <laughs> I don't got nothing, daddy. Oh, let's see your fingernails. Oh, they washed off. Cutie. Put that purse back. Stay out of mom's stuff. You're going to get in trouble. Hey guys, what's up? I want to take an opportunity real quick to talk to you guys something. I really want to talk about boobs. <laughs> you guys hear mommy talk? What? <coughs> yes, I want to talk to you about the two B's, boobs and butts. What? <laughs> Let me explain. Okay, so <laughs> on my channel page, on the Shay Tards channel page, you may have seen some of these porn bots who post their little dirty thumbnails to try to get the perverts out there on YouTube to come to their YouTube channel, to click on their website. To... I'm talking about boobs here. Get out. <laughs> Anyways, I just I want to talk to you guys. I want to show you guys something I just noticed. This kid, Wizard Kid 99 
just spammed a bunch of just random letters. And then at the top, he put, the boobies are gone. <laughs> Which means he just kept spamming comments until he pushed all the porn bots out of the way in the comment section. Which normally I would have been pissed at him for spamming the channel, just like putting comments over and over and over. But I think maybe we should start a policy like that. Because I, trust me guys, every time I get on my channel plot page, I block and erase as many of those porn bots as I can. And I usually, every time I log on, I'm, I usually do five or six of them. And there's some bad ones, like full on boobs, you know, it's like, I like boobs as much as the next guy, but there's people that don't need to be seeing that on this channel. So I'm thinking now don't, please don't spam the channel just to be funny. But I'm thinking if you guys ever come to my channel page here on the Shay Carl, you know, Shay Tards, if you ever come to this and you see inappropriate body parts on here, feel free to just spam some comments. So you push them out of the way. Good job, good job, Wizard Kid 99 I like it. Way to get the porn industry out of YouTube! Anyways, that's our section today on boobs. <laughs> hey, we got Tall Tard here again. Yeah, we do. Grab that. Sorry. And we got Brother Tard, who stole my weight bench. Been working it out. Have you used it? Yeah. I, yeah. Have you really been using it? Uh-huh. We use it all the time. Yeah. Do you really? Over the summer, yeah. It was like all the Oh, that's good. Okay, so I'm going to try to max. This is 45s. 35s and 25s plus the bars 45 pounds. How much is that? 255. Here we go. I haven't done this forever. Suntar, do you want to film it? Sure. Okay. If I die, I'll probably die. Okay, ready? You gotta spot me, okay? Yeah, get that spot. Two back. Spots. 10 spots are a lot more effective. Okay, 255 pounds. Oh, I'm fat and old. Here, okay, wait. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, jeez. Oh. Okay. There's a pop. Oh, I did it once. Woo! Yeah! I want to get you. Do you want to try it? Yeah. Okay, you come try it. No, I can't. Down there, Clark. Come on, Clark Griswold. Yeah, tall tard's gonna try it. Let's go, Tall Tard. Snap your arms off. Yeah. Hi. I wanted to talk about one more other thing about the vlogs that I've seen you guys commenting on. Uh, you'll see things like this that it says comment removed by author. That means the person who wrote it removed it. It wasn't me. There's been a lot of you who are like, Shay, quit removing our comments. I'm like, I'm not removing them. You guys are. So if ever you ever see comment removed by author, Whoever wrote that comment, it was them who removed it, not me. I can erase comments and you won't even see them. I would just like erase them. But if you ever see comment removed by author, it's whoever wrote it. Some of you didn't need to know that, but some of you did. Also, let's just refresh memory real quick. Why not? When the video's first uploaded, it's bad quality. The first hour to two hours, it's going to be grainy and bad quality. It takes about two hours for YouTube to process the full video where it's in full quality. Okay? Just thought I'd let you guys know. Love you. Bye. What are you thinking? You want to make out? Oh, baby. Are you so are you so hot for me right now? Am I do I look like I'm hot? <laughs> are you tired? Yeah, I'm sleepy. Let's I'm go to bed. Sleepy. I'm tired too. I just realized that I um uploaded five videos to YouTube today. Talk about being sick of Shay Carl. Blah! <laughs> Blah! I uploaded my Shay Loss Weight Loss video on Shay Carl, the behind the scenes video on the Station 2, two Shay Loss videos, and a Shay Tards video. Who uploads five videos in a day? Losers. Like me. I'm sick of myself. Aren't you guys sick of me yet? Just make a kitty love video. Go away. I seriously, I start editing my videos. I'm like, shut up, Shay. Sh nobody cares. Shut up. <laughs> Do you guys ever get like that with yourselves? <sighs> I just need a break from myself, you know. I know. I love myself. So <laughs> I'm so awesome. <laughs> You're so good. Let's make a kitty let video. No, I'm. Hey, Katie Lett, why don't you make videos where you sing and play the guitar? Because I 
because I don't have my own material. You can make I stuff look up. Like a poser. That's you don't look like a poser. What are some other my questions? My sister's the one with all the musical talent. Your sister is good. People, let's answer some questions right now. Do you guys want to do a and a You want to do a and a if you're sick of Shay? Good thing they're here to ask questions. Yeah. I wish you guys could interact. Um, why, why are we living in this house? I thought we were living in California. What's going on? I'm confused. Cause. <laughs> and that's your answer. <laughs> Thanks for participating in this Q&A. <laughs> we're tired. Um, the answer is, this house is ours. We, we bought, bought this house, how long? Three years ago? Together, because we bought it together. Has it been three years? This March will be three years. Is that right? Anyways, we bought this house three years ago. And, um, Same time you quit your job. I quit my, <laughs> we bought this house the day... That's a good story. That's such a good story. I should tell that story sometime. We, <laughs> went, down, we went down to the title company and signed the deed to this house the day I quit my job. <laughs> How crazy is that? I literally went to work that morning. It was my birthday. It was my birthday. That is such a good story. I need to write that down. Or maybe I could just vlog it right now. Um, this is when I worked at a granite shop. And I was going to start my own granite business. And I told my boss. I said, hey, boss. Hey, Shay. <laughs> he used to have this gruff voice. And we would always like uh, mimic him. We'd be like, hey, Shay. So how's it going? You get that job done yet up on Sutterfield? <laughs> Anyways, um, so I told him, I said, hey, boss, man, I am going to start my own granite business and I'm going to give you one month notice. Like I didn't want to like leave him high and dry, you know, so I said, I will stay here for a month and I will train whoever um, you get because at the time it was just three of us. It was me, another guy. And so we had a lot of, we had a lot of work just between the three of us. So if I left, he would kind of be up the creek, you know what I'm saying, without a paddle. So I said, hire somebody and I will train them for a month. So you, you know, have somebody that's well trained before I leave. Well, he didn't like that. I mean, he, and I can understand now, he kind of thought it was a conflict of interest because I'm going to start my own granite business, but I'm still going to be working, you know, like with his customers for uh, another month. So I went in, oh, you got to know me about my birthday. My birthday to me is like, I think everybody should just celebrate their birthday. Like it's, it's, that's your holiday. I don't like people who are like, oh, it's my birthday. I don't care. Like, I don't like that. I want to be like, it's your birthday. Come on, let's get you a cake. Let's sing. This is your big day. This is your one day out of the year. This is the celebration of your life day. And so, um, I, it was like a Wednesday three years ago. Can you believe it's going to be three years that I haven't worked for anybody? No, I'm still trying to calculate it. It's three years. I'm almost positive. Anyways, um, so I went in on my birthday. I went in. I clocked in, and I was like, ugh, so miserable. I was like, I do not want to be here today. This is the last place in the world I want to be. It's my birthday, and I'm here doing what somebody else is telling me to do. Somebody else is in control of my life right now because of one person I have to be here. When I want to be at home with my wife and kids, I want to go hang out. I want to go drive to the zoo and be with them on this celebration of my life day. Yeah. And I was like, I was walking around the shop and I was just like miserable. It just like was like repulsive to me. It, I felt like I was in jail. I was like, this is <laughs> horrible. I was like, ugh, I just, I don't want to be here. So I was like, you know what? I am not, I'm not going to be here on this day, my birthday. I just... I can't have somebody in control of my life telling me when and when and when I can't hang out with my family. You know what I'm saying? It's like, if I want to hang out with my wife and kids, I'm going to. And nobody's going to tell me I can't. Anyways, that's a long story also. So I called my boss. I said, hey, boss, I'm, I'm going to go home. I said, I, it's my birthday and I just I want to spend the day with my family and so I'm out of here. And my boss said, well, you know what? Why don't we just call it good? He said, why don't we just say this is your last day? And I was like, Okay. Okay, I'm, and I, I, I clocked out, and I got in my truck to drive home, and I called my wife, and I was like, well, I don't have a job anymore. And what did I do? And, and she started crying. I started crying. <laughs> she started crying, and I said, honey, it's going to be okay. I promise I will provide for you and the, for the kids. I swear you won't be out on the streets. And she kept crying. 
<laughs> but what about money, Shay? We don't have any money. And I said, but baby, we got love and all you need is love. All you need is love. All you need is love. Love, love is just love a game. Is any, anyways, any hoozles, any Willy Wonka ways. Um, so as I drove home, after I hung up with her, I reassured her. I'm like, honey, I, I gave her, it was like one of the best pep talks, the best motivational speeches I ever gave. And she was like, okay, okay, we can do this. <laughs> and I felt, oh, you know, in the part in Braveheart, when he's laying there and he yells, Freedom! The sun never shined so bright as it did that day. My heart, the weight in my heart had been lifted. And I was free. I was in charge of my own destiny. I could hang with my wife and kids because I didn't have a boss telling me what to do. Mind you, don't go quit your job oh tomorrow. God, I was gonna say. Listen, there's a very but in this. Sometimes you have to do crap to get by. Trust me, I worked at a job for three years that I didn't like in order to start my own business. I didn't, you, you, sometimes you have to do stuff you don't like in order to work up to where you want to be. So don't just be like, I'm going to do that too and just quit your job and then your family's broke. But, but you can are. work towards it. I had been working towards being able to quit my job and start my own granite business for about three years. Even though it was a month early, we're still... It was a month early. I had planned on working there another month and getting another two paychecks. But, um, you know, we made it work. But uh, I had been paying off our bills. I had paid off all our credit cards. We didn't have any debt. Zero payments. All we had is the house payment and then groceries. So it was easy. We'd been saving up and working towards a future. Anyways, this is a long story. Um, so that day we had found this house and, um, we went and we, this was, we had already yeah, I mean, this is, it's a long process to buy a house. The closing day was that day. Yeah. That's for, it was just a, it was just a coincidence, pure coincidence that the closing on the house when we went to the title company to sign the papers was on the same day. Which mind you, we had not sold our previous house. <laughs> That's another story too. We had two house payments. <laughs> we had, we had two house payments at the time. That was even why it was no more job, stressful. And I was like, no job, yeah, two house payments. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because we were trying, we were trying to sell our other house and we thought it was sold and it wasn't. And then we found this house and it was, you know, we liked it. Anyways, I remember going to sign the, the papers and I, and then when we left and this house was ours, they gave us the keys. I'm like, honey, we just bought a house. And I don't have a job. <laughs> that was a good day. That was three years ago, this March. Um, and I haven't worked for anybody since, except for when I worked at the radio station. But I don't really count that because being a radio DJ, it was, and it was pretty free. I, I kind of came and went as I pleased. But that was more of like a hobby, you know. So you guys can do it. You can do it. You can be free. You can be your, you can control your own destiny sometime. But remember, you have to work through things you don't like. You have to, you know what I mean? You have to go through school. You have to, you know, stay in a job you don't like. But you can, as you're working in that job. I remember, I used to listen to CDs as I was sitting there polishing granite. For, for 12 hours in a day. 12 hours. Cutting and polishing granite. And I'd be listening to these CDs, these book on tapes about um, getting out of debt. I'd listen to Dave Ramsey CDs. And I would just sit there and I would think about, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'm gonna start my own granite business. I don't think I want to do granite forever, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it because I want to be in charge. But I, I just gotta find what I want to do in life. And uh, now we make YouTube videos, so it's a long story. Anyways, that's a uh, that's a story for you guys. This is how long? This is oh my heck! This is ten minutes already. What? Should we leave this in? You guys, I'm sorry these videos are so long sometimes, but that's what you gotta do. You know what? <laughs> Maybe I'll make this a side video. I don't know. Anyway, I love you guys. Whatever. You'll watch it. If you didn't watch it, you won't even know. You won't even know. You won't even, you're not even here right now if you're not watching this. Get it? Say goodbye, Mommy Tart. Goodbye. So long, farewell. I'll lead a saying I do to you. And you. And you. And you. And you. And you. So long. See you guys tomorrow.